starts now. From your news leader. Just one week after the death of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, President Trump has already picked her replacement. Barry community is coming together to better relationship with kids and first responders. Crews are investigating after an explosion inside of an eerie house. Hear what neighbors say they saw just before the explosion. Live in high definition from your news leader, this is Jet 24 Action News at 11. New tonight at 11, following a week of public and private events celebrating the late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg at the U.S. Capitol, President Trump has made his selection with her replacement. ABC's Faith Abube is in Washington with the latest. A bitter political battle brews in Washington as loved ones prepare to bury legal and cultural icon Ruth Bader Ginsburg and as President Trump moves to quickly replace her. In the Rose Garden Saturday, flanked by 48-year-old Amy Coney Barrett and her family, Trump nominating the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals judge to fill the seat on the high court. She is a woman of unparalleled achievement, towering intellect, sterling credentials, and unyielding loyalty to the Constitution. If confirmed, she would be the youngest justice appointed in nearly 30 years. Despite a short three years on the federal bench, Barrett is already well known in conservative circles as a devout Catholic, anti-abortion, and pro-Second Amendment. I see no conflict between having a sincerely held faith and duties as a judge. I would never impose my own personal convictions upon the law. Her confirmation would tilt to the court's ideological balance, giving conservatives a clear majority on the Supreme Court. Democrats argue that naming a nominee this close to the election a little more than a month to go is rushing the process. They plan to fight the confirmation while Republicans hope to have their nominee on the bench in a few weeks. The latest ABC News Washington Post poll shows, despite GOP wishes, 57% of Americans would prefer if the next justice of the U.S. Supreme Court is picked by the winner of the presidential election. And GOP senators appear to have the votes needed to confirm the newest Supreme Court nominee. If confirmed before or soon after Election Day, one of the first cases will be an Obamacare challenge before the court on November 10th. Faith Abube, ABC News, Washington. A push to raise awareness about color and equality is underway in the city of Erie. Local pastors are teaming up with first responders as a way to bring the community together. Star Bodie has more on the Kids and Cops Party. It's an initiative to build relationships and strengthen conversations in the Erie community. We've called the community together in a way to uh, promote unity and to tear down uh, some of the diversity that we're seeing around the country. Erie police officers along with United Clergy members are coming together to better one another's differences. That's by having a Cops and Kids pizza party which expects to raise awareness about race and equality. I really think the differences in skin color and, and age and hair and ethnicity, those are minor differences. We're all human beings. The more we can work together, the better it is. And this event, events like this, give us the opportunity to do that. The party gives kids the chance to hang out with police officers and create a relationship. Pastors say it starts with having conversations in order to create a more diverse community. The relationship of the Erie Police with the folks of our community. We want kids to see them uh, in another light other than as uh, figures of authority, but see them as, you know, police officers that are there um, to protect them. Star Bodie, Jet 24 Action News. Here are the latest COVID-19 numbers for Erie County. They have just been released. The State Department of Health reporting 11 new cases. 1,537 people have tested positive since March. 22 people have died from COVID-19 in Pennsylvania. That total is now 8,103. The State Department of Health reports 806 new cases of COVID-19 for a statewide total of more than 155,000. Crawford County reporting 304. Warren County reporting 43. Chautauqua County reporting 634. And Ohio is reporting 659 cases in Ashtabula County.
Erie police are investigating after an explosion inside of a house. How this happened around 7 p.m. last night at a vacant house on the 400 block of East 24th Street. Neighbors told police they saw several juveniles running from the house just before the explosion. The severity of the damage is still unknown. Fire investigators continue to look at what caused the explosion. One care organization is touring across the Commonwealth to ensure residents' health. Gateway Tour and Latino Connection are teaming up to help those in need. Gateway Health Plan's Whole Care Tour is distributing free masks and hand sanitizer to Erie residents. The tour expects to engage community members on various aspects of health, including nutrition and physical needs. A lot of people have, have searched for opportunities and outlets um, to, to keep themselves um, not high anxiety and stress-free, and so we have offered um, some resources. Now the next stop will take place on Monday at the Erie City Mission. And Jet 24 Action News is your local election headquarters. If you haven't had the chance to register to vote, there still is time. The American Association of University Women is hosting pop-up events to encourage new American citizens to vote. Volunteers are extending a helping hand, assisting citizens with voter registration and absentee ballots. As the election nears, volunteers say that it's crucial that everyone has a chance to cast their ballots. New American citizens and new immigrants to have that voice. Maybe they didn't have that voice in their former country, so this is a chance to let them have that opportunity to participate in government and to have a voice. And more voter registration events are expected to take place at local ethnic grocery stores. For all your election news anytime, head to our website, yourerie.com. Coming up on Jet 24 Action News at 11, Legacy continues. One Erie icon that has helped the city for many years was honored this afternoon. This is after a first look at the weather. Tom? We hit 83 today, and it looks even warmer for tomorrow, and then back to real fall. More weather details after the break. From your news leader, you're watching Brian Wilk, meteorologist Craig Flint,